Hi there. My name is Dave Cormier. I work in the Office of Open Learning at the University of Windsor. What I want to talk about today is the difference between classroom style problems and real life problems as it affects us moving into the workforce. So when we're learning how to do something in a given field, there are past examples, there are definitions we need to understand and concepts that we need to sort of get in our head and understand and grasp. The workforce is often not like that. Sure, there are certainly things inside of anybody's profession that have right answers, but more often than not, you're going to be expected to use your judgment to weigh multiple issues between multiple people and get a sense for the person in front of you. So if you're interviewing a client, for instance, and that client has uh, things that they're trying to tell you, often their ability to tell that story won't be as strong as you might want it to be. Sometimes you'll end up interviewing two different people who might tell you different things or different sides of the same story. And you'll be in a position where you have to make that kind of professional judgment. And often there won't be a right answer to the thing you're doing. There won't be one right way of doing it. There might be different ways where you get 10 different experts in the room. Each of those experts would do something different. It's really important to work on that skill, that ability to make judgment, that ability to confront uncertainty inside of your regular life and also inside of any kind of workforce situation. And confronting uncertainty is very different than studying. Studying is a super important part of the process. You gather facts, you put them in your head, you get them right in a test. Somebody rewards you for that process. But this is about developing that skill as a professional. Being able to look at a given situation, apply your knowledge, but also your understanding of that situation, ask the right kinds of questions, ask good questions inside of those situations that allow you to be able to make the kind of decisions that you can stand behind. Learning how to do that is something you have to take responsibility for. Nobody can force you to be independent. Nobody can force you to learn how to make judgments on things. One of the things you can do though, is take a look at the community around you. Take a look at the professionals who are working in their field, ask them about the reasons why they make the judgments they do. Certainly when you look at the medical profession, for instance, doctors go in and they have time to tour around with other doctors and get a sense for how those people work. A lot of times that's how we actually make the transition to being a professional. And I think maybe one of those highest arts, one of those things that we have to reach for is that ability to confront uncertainty.